Hey YouTube, what is going on? True Blue Car Collector here, back at it with another video for you. And today I wanted to kind of recap our most recent card show, show you some of the things that we picked up. Uh, but on today's video, we're going to open up a box of 2019 Marvel Annual, 2019-2020. Uh, one premium insert per pack, five cards per pack and 16 packs per box. The premium inserts are going to be the, uh, the sketch cards, you got the booklet sketch cards, you got the creator corner autographs, the splash ticular, splash ticular SPs and SSPs. Those are about one out of every 16 pack. So odds are we'll get one of those in this box. Uh, but real quick, let's go over kind of a couple of the cards that we uh, picked up ourselves at the most recent card show. So we picked up a couple nice, cool looking Marvel gold cards here. We got Wolverine. One of our favorite comic book characters of all time. And we picked up Deadpool. So one of the booths had a whole bunch of these different uh, uh, $100 bill cards. And we were like, that's awesome. I'd love for one of those to be our first Marvel card in our collection. And then today we stopped down at uh, Vinny Sports Cards and Collectibles in Spanish Fork. And Phil happened to have a box of this 2019 there. So we're like, well, let's grab that up and have that be the first box that we rip on the channel. So let me know in the comments below, guys, who is your favorite comic book character and do you open Marvel cards? If you do, I'd love to know what you open and what your favorite sets are. But uh, let's continue on here real quick. Some of the cards that we picked up for ourselves. We picked up this nice looking Barry Sanders parallel there. Uh, Jeff Akuda signature. We're not Ohio State fans, but because he was a draft pick of the Detroit Lions, we picked that up for our collection. And we picked up some really, really cool Captain Patch for uh, Matthew Stafford. It was pretty awesome. We also picked up this Casey Mize on card auto. First Bowman. That's the Bowman Chrome draft. It was pretty cool. We got uh, nines all the way around except for the center. You can get a 9-5 in the Beckett slab there. So we were happy about that. We pulled some really cool cards. Let me see if I can grab them out here real quick for you guys. We got uh, we pulled some absolutely amazing cards at the card show. I'll show you three that we pulled while we were sitting around waiting for some customers to stop by. So out of a couple single packs, we pulled this really cool rainbow Rayquaza VMAX. That is so sweet. The centering on this card is almost perfect. Looks in really good shape. We're probably going to send that off to get graded. Uh, we also pulled this Blaziken alternate art out of a single booster pack of Chilling Rain. That card, again, almost perfect on the centering. So we're going to send that in and kind of see here how we set up our cards that we already have determined. So we're going to look some more at the Rayquaza. But you can see how we set up our cards to get shipped off uh, for grading. And one of the best cards that we pulled at the show, well, the best card we pulled at the show, 2021 or 2020 21 recon out of a hobby box. We pulled an Anthony Edwards 2425. Now, this box was amazing. We had an Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball base rookie. We had a uh, Anthony Edwards rookie class insert. We had a LeBron James to 99. And we pulled that uh, really awesome Anthony Edwards to 25 autograph. So that box was spectacular. Guys, I got a new microphone too. Just off camera, you can't see it, but let me know in the comments as well. What do you think of the audio? Is it better than using the iPhone audio that we had used in the past? Let me know. Love to hear your thoughts. But let's go ahead and dig into this Marvel box and see what we can get here. As soon as I can. There we go. See what we can get in this Marvel box. So a little bit about me and comic books. I love comic books when I was a kid. Uh, of course, a lot of people are into the Marvel movies nowadays. Uh, my favorite comic book characters are Wolverine and Deadpool. Those are my two favorites. Uh, but we would love to get any versions of those cards and any cool parallels here. The rest of these will probably do something similar to what we do with the Pokemon. Put them in little grab bags, mystery packs, stuff like that for kids at the card shows just to kind of get them into the hobby. So there you go. There's the box again, guys. Really cool artwork on all these cards. And again, you can pause it if you want to read the back there. But pretty much all your cards are going to be one and one as far as your odds other than those uh, 
those premiere cards, you're gonna have the sketch cards again, the booklets, stuff like that. It'd be really cool to pull a book it, booklet. We haven't pulled a booklet before, and I'd love to be able to pull one out of this for you guys on the video. But let's go ahead and get ripping into here and see what we can get. We're only a couple days away from Christmas here. Yep, we might. We're gonna have to break out the knife. These packs don't want to open very well. Yeah, we're gonna have to break out the knife here. There we go. Been trying to get away from using the knife. Um, I, I'm always so worried about cutting the cards on this, but let's see what we got here. Weapon H, cool little alternate Hulk card there. Iceman. We got Rick Jones. It's uh, and these are they got four different tiers on these. So this is a tier two card here from the Immortal Hulk. Spider Woman number one. So that's a number one spot. Let me check our box here real quick. I believe those number one spots are one of the cards you can get in the 1 to 16 range. Uh, nope, I apologize about that. Those are just the premium inserts. It looks like those are one in one. So we'll get, we should get one of these every single pack or uh, there's other variations and in inserts and stuff like that. But you should get at least one insert per pack. Kind of cool. Magneto awesome nice x-men card there of course with the red you do get you can see some of the whiting on this a little better than you would if it was you know traditional white card there we go we just gotta go from that end to get them to open up all right who we got here jane foster cyclops we got a humble beginnings so that's Jean Grey. So you got the original artwork here for Jean Grey and the more of the modern 2020 artwork there as far as the transition that you could see um, over time and how that character's artwork has developed. So really cool. Love the new artwork on the cards. Even the old school artwork was really cool. All right, Hawkeye, there we go. We got an Avenger. We're almost done watching the Hawkeye series. We got one more episode to go on that. We got Minotaur. Have you guys watched the Hawkeye series? I think it's uh, pretty good. I, I like it. Uh, I was a little worried with, um, what was it, the uh, the WandaVision. That was kind of weird. Uh, I mean, it all came together in the end, but uh, yeah, WandaVision was a little weird. Falcon and Winter Soldier just took a little bit to get going. And then uh, I think Hawkeye's been really good so far. Malekith, we got armor, saber tooth, number one spot Thor. It's kind of a cool looking card right there. Of course, those aren't numbered. Venom, there we go. It was always cool when I was a kid seeing the Venom versus Spider-Man cards and comic books. All right, next pack here we got. Uh, Krakoa, Nyx, Darkstar, Marvel Comics. This one is Earth 616 and Earth. So these are the variations from the multiverses. That's Magneto there. And Storm. So we're getting a lot of the base X Men cards, which is cool. Can't wait to see them brought into the MCU. That's going to be so awesome once that finally happens. Braun Hammer, Queen of Cinders, number one spot, House of X. So there you go. You got some nice. You got Cyclops back here. Uh, I'm guessing this is Professor X, Magneto, Wolverine in the background there, Captain America, Lady Sif. We got White Fox, Daredevil. Heard that they're going to be bringing that back, rebooting that again. Doctor Strange, Humble Beginnings. This one is the Incredible Hulk and the Immortal Hulk. So, kind of see how that started there with Hulk back in 1962 and the Immortal Hulk 2020. Quite a drastic change in the artwork for sure. 
Thunderbolt Ross. All right. Yeah. A couple of these are going to need to have the knife. All right. We got Mary Jane Watson. Miss Marvel. Number one spot, Strike Force. We got one below all. Owl. Here we got the Jack O' Lantern, Queen of Angels, Night Thrasher. All right, there we go. We got a Future. Let's say Future Watch Heroes. Kind of a cool card. Let's wave. Not familiar with Wave. We got Old Man Quill. Kind of cool artwork. Looks a little bit like Logan, right? Spider Woman. Thor. Number one spot Black Cat. Namor. And Hippo from The Amazing Spider-Man. All right, there we go. There's our first Wolverine card. From the Uncanny X-Men. We got no, so you can kind of see there, no energy projection, low intelligence and speed. However, his strength, durability, and his fighting skills are off the chart there. So, awesome. Toward, we got here Captain America. So, you can see the variations on this one. You got Captain America on Earth 616. And then on Earth 23291, Captain America is a female. So that's really awesome. Nice to see some cool variation there. We got Miles Morales looking like a Spider Man. Banshee. Short lived in the X Men movies for him. Cantress. Io Mysterio. There we go. Spider Verse number one spot car there. That's some cool looking stuff. Some different variations of Spider Man there. Awesome. Rocket Raccoon. Getting a couple of the. Uh, Marvel uh, Guardians of the Galaxies. All right, we got Wrecker, Nuke Clones, Humble Beginnings, Star Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, this one up here, that's what everybody's most familiar with now, right? All right, Loki, Black Panther. Getting close. We should be pulling uh, our hit card here pretty soon. We got Vision, Koi, number one spot, Miss Marvel, Vanguard, Vulcan. Three more packs to go in this rip. Come on. There we go. Oh, nice. Iron Man. Banner. Little Iron Man variation there for the comic 
the Marvel Comics. Cool. Odin. Last two packs. We're getting pretty close here. We should be uh, coming up on our hit card. Hemdall, Ironheart. There we go. There's the Splash Tacular. So it's kind of like a hologram there. Captain America. Alright, so we got Captain America right here, we got Captain America down here. It's like a little bit of where's Waldo on here. Yeah, kind of like that old school, early 90s, late 80s hologram style card. Really cool. Oh, nice. Pull the Wolverine number one spot. Wolverine number one from 2020. Really cool. Another PC one there for us. Last of Craven. And then our last pack. Here we go. Guys, what do you think of this box opening? Let me know in the comments below who your favorite character is and what your favorite Marvel product is. Happy that we could finally get our hands on something. Ooh, we got something that's sleeved up in here. Nice, probably a sketch card, I'm guessing. We got Puck. Squirrel Girl. Yeah, let's go from, we got one more here before we get to those two. So we got Corn. We got uh, Humble Beginnings. Daredevil. Let's see who we have here. Sabretooth Artist Sketch Card. Check that out. That's really cool. That's nice that they kind of sleeved it up ahead of time, too. And that's a 101. Sherwin Santiago. That's really cool. Of course, Wolverine and Sabretooth always had those classic battles. Kind of disappointed that uh, the X-Men movies didn't kind of um, carry some of that over to the big screen. I would have loved to see some more of that. They're such great comic book characters and to get the 101 out of the box, that's awesome. That is so cool. I, I was not expecting to get a 101 sketch card out of this. That is so awesome. Check that out, guys. A really awesome artwork for sure. So, well, there he goes, guys. Not too bad. We got that really awesome 101 sketch card there of Sabretooth. We got a couple nice Wolverine cards there for our PC collection to bring those into our beginning of our Marvel uh, card collection. We got some really nice cards to give out to the kids at the next comic book or at the next card show as well. And some really cool inserts that we'll be going through and letting you know how those guys pan out. So, again, let me know in the comments below who your favorite comic book character is. And if you open Marvel cards, what is your favorite product? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this product. And if you'd like to see more of this stuff, give us a big thumbs up. Let us know you like the videos. And uh, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Merry Christmas to all of you. And have a safe holiday. Bye.